UFC Heavyweight Showdown. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 approach. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Getting the limb to the target there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Effective punch there by Choi. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Choi gets hit with a kick. to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. home. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big body kick. Single collar tie there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he missed with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Oh! All right, great position. 
position for him here. He's got How about those five minutes? So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And then survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Spinning back fist. Albert's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Good stick. jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with his hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Lands the right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually, you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. That strike blocked by Albu. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice one, two there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. He missed with that jab. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, straight right. <laughs> and he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Alp. <laughs> Huge block there. The the nice punch there by Alpu. <laughs> wow. Swing and a miss with that punch by George. Albu's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Close guard, keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes. Snap the head back. The referee has seen enough. Third by TKO. He mercy.
mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... No!